guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be talking through the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I'm gonna be giving you guys my review on this product, thoughts, and how I used it to heal skin barrier damage. So I talked about that in a recent video that I had some brutal skin barrier damage from essential oils, which is one of the many reasons I will not be using essential oils or fragrance within skincare anymore. That's something I talked about in depth very recently in a video that I posted talking through why fragrance and essential oils are no good for the skin and showing you some of my favorite fragrance-free skincare products. So card for that here, linked below if you're interested. But basically I did use this to heal skin barrier damage. I will get into the details of that after this introduction. So if you're interested in hearing about that and just hearing my overall thoughts on this specific moisturizing cream. Stay tuned, we'll jump right into that. Before we do, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. That would help me out a lot. It would really mean a lot to me because I upload three to five days a week for you guys. And if you're interested in keeping up with my life more just day to day behind the scenes, or you want more content from me, my Instagram and TikTok handle is right here. Alrighty, let's jump into it. I have talked about CeraVe so many times at this point here on my channel. I already have an entire video of my entire CeraVe collection talking through each one of those products. So if you guys want to watch that, that will be linked below, of course. But essentially, you guys know at this point, I am a huge fan of CeraVe. I rave about their products all the time and for good reason. Their products are fragrance-free, their products have amazing ingredients in them, and they don't have a lot of the BS ingredients that you will find in other skincare brands, especially fragrance and essential oils, which seem to be everywhere these days. So oh, I freaking love CeraVe. If you guys want me to do continued reviews like this, even though this is more so to be talking about how I healed my skin barrier damage, if you want me to highlight one specific product at a time and make a shorter video on that product, let me know, I can absolutely do that. I know sometimes full brand reviews are just kind of hard to watch if you don't have the time to sit there and watch that entire video. So whether that be a CeraVe skincare product or something else, I can definitely do individual reviews on products that you guys are interested in. So this moisturizing cream, this says, it moisturizes and helps to restore the protective skin barrier. It has three essential ceramides and what else? It says it's non-comedogenic, it has hyaluronic acid in it, and it's fragrance-free. Other ingredient callouts. This has their signature ceramide complex, which is something that's going to help to restore and repair the skin. It has dimethicone in it, which is a skin conditioning ingredient that also helps to improve our skin's softness and flexibility. It has petrolatum, which is considered to be one of the most effective moisturizing ingredients. And the reason for that is because it is an occlusive ingredient, meaning it's actually going to act as a protective barrier on the surface of your skin. Any sort of thicker product Product like this which I will show you quickly here oh I almost just spilled that everywhere any sort of thicker moisturizer like this is really great at helping to actually seal in moisture versus one that is lighter weight and more of a gel like consistency with humectant ingredients that's something that's going to draw moisture to the surface of the skin from deeper layers of our skin but it's actually not going to provide you long-term moisture in the way that a thicker cream like this would so something like this is going to be great for those of you that have really dry skin flaky skin or potentially irritated skin, which I will talk about in a little bit, but that is one of the benefits of petrolatum is sealing in that moisture. And then not the last ingredient, but final ingredient call out that I will make. This also has glycerin in it, which is an amazing hydrating ingredient that helps to replenish and restore the skin. So skin types that may benefit from this moisturizer. Again, if you have really dry skin, flaky skin, you might love this. You could still use this if you have combination skin or normal skin and you could just use it in the PM if using it twice a day seems to be too much for you. It's hard for me to say because everybody's skin is different. I'm not a dermatologist, of course, so I cannot prescribe skincare products to you, of course, and the only way that you can really know if something is going to work for your skin is if you try it out. But in general, thicker, occlusive moisturizers like this are not ideal for really oily skin types. That may be where you want to stay away from it, but again, you could try out just using it in the PM because it's thicker to really help with overnight hydration 
hydration or this may be something you need both in the a.m. and p.m. if you are dry. This is something that I don't use very often just because I have combination skin that I would say tends to lean more oily. So I find that something like this daily is just too much for me, but I definitely have used it before, more so in the winter months when my skin starts to feel a little bit drier. The other way that I have used this, which is why I'm sure a lot of you are watching this, is for skin barrier damage repair. So let me show you guys the photo here of my skin barrier damage. I had repeated damage to that area of my skin. Long story short, it happened from using essential oils and I used to use tea tree oil as a spot treatment for acne. That's something that used to work really well for me. It would dry up my breakouts, I mean almost overnight and make the healing process a lot quicker and I never experienced irritation from that. However, in doing more skincare research and just really starting to understand ingredients on skincare labels, I have realized that essential oils are a no-no in skincare in the same way that fragrance should not be within our skincare products. Essential oils may provide some benefits, so in that case for me, it was helping to clear up my breakouts faster, but the negative side effects like potential irritation or allergy development or contributing to signs of aging are not mitigated by those positive benefits. So the positives don't outweigh the negatives. I no longer recommend the use of essential oils. I know that's something I did use to recommend here on this channel, but like I've said before, I'm just doing a lot of research behind the scenes and I'm continuing to share what I find with you guys. So I did experience a breakout on my chin jawline region from wearing a face mask. Welcome to the club happy to have you. I know a lot of you guys are dealing with that too. And when I used that essential oil, that was around the same time that I had started to become extremely particular about the products that I was allowing to touch my skin. So I still did have some products that had essential oils in them and I was starting to not use them anymore. I think just because of that, my skin was no longer used to repeated exposure to essential oils day after day. It freaked out when I did put the essential oils on my skin. So what I did to try to heal that damage was use this CeraVe moisturizing cream. I did two things. So I used this AM and PM only on the area of my face that I had that damage because again, this makes me feel a little bit more oily than I would like to if I use it all over my face. So I kind of like, I used this as a shield. First, I rubbed in this moisturizing cream into that area with the damage. And if you're trying to figure out if you have skin barrier damage, I mean, if it looks like that photo, then you definitely do. But signs of that are redness, irritation, stinging, burning, extreme dryness, patchiness, scaliness, flakiness, like all of those things. And when you combine some of those characteristics, I mean, you could very well have skin barrier damage. So I first rubbed this into that area and then I went on top of it with a second layer, like really laid it on thick and patted it on top of that irritation. The reason that I wanted to do that was to actually like form a shield on my face and again, help to seal in that moisture. So even though a thicker moisturizing cream like this is going to help with that on its own, just by the nature of the ingredients within this product, I wanted to go the extra mile and speed up the healing process. So I layered this moisturizer on top and literally had it sitting on top of my skin. Thankfully, it's quarantine. So I was able to get away with just having moisturizer <laughs> slabbed on my face like that. And I was able to get rid of it much quicker than I would if I had to wear makeup and couldn't do that. So, I mean, not that you wanna wear makeup over skin barrier damage regardless, but I know that's not always an option for some people. So. If you can't do that in the AM, at least make sure to do that before you go to bed. Rub in that cream in that area where you have barrier damage and then get a nice layer on top. Even the first night that I did that, I woke up and I was like, whoa, like this looks way better. That redness had gone down significantly. It was a huge improvement. And then just over time, over the next few days, it completely transformed and healed up. And I no longer have that damage or lasting scars. Thank goodness. So based on my experience, 
Based on the ingredient label, I do really recommend this product for skin barrier damage if you are trying to repair that area. I also would recommend it if you're extremely dry, and I think it's a great product for that. One thing I wanna make sure I am mentioning, it's a comment I saw a few times on my original CeraVe collection review, is that some people feel that this product and also just a lot of CeraVe products for them cause stinging, irritation, and burning. So if you are in that boat, you're definitely not alone. I actually have experienced that a couple times with this as well, but it's not every time. So it really just depends on what's going on with my skin. That's the tricky thing about my skin. I have sensitive skin. I have combination skin. I have acne prone skin. So I mean, I guess that's nice if you're watching this because I basically have it all and I never really know how my skin's going to respond. So some days this really helps to soothe irritation, but then other days I experience a little bit of stinging. For me, it's nothing major or long lasting and nothing that causes like extreme redness or anything like that so that's why I've always been okay with it and for the most part I don't experience any irritation with this but it definitely has happened sometimes and I know other people personally that that has happened to so I just wanted to say if that's happened to you you're not alone maybe it's something that you could set aside for a little bit and then try to reintroduce at another time to see if that works. But at least when I had that skin barrier damage, that did not further irritate that area at all. It definitely helped to just make it feel soothed, which was much needed. So again, the only way you can really know is to test it out yourself, but I had to make that quick call out for you guys. Okay, so that is everything that I have to say about this CeraVe moisturizing cream. Also, I've had a question a few times about this asking if it's something you can use on your face because this is huge. Like usually tubs of moisturizer like this would be something that you would find for your body. But yes, you can use this on your face. I've used it on my face. I've also used it on the seborrheic dermatitis that I have on the back of my scalp. That actually has helped a lot. So if you suffer from the same thing, maybe give this a try because I've really enjoyed it for that as well. I feel like it's one of the only things that relieves itching, but also provides hydration and like restoration. You know, it's not just itch relief, but it's also hydrating my skin. So I really like that. So that's everything I have to say. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below if you use this moisturizing cream, if you've tried it before, what are your thoughts? Does it work for you? Does it not work for you? Have you tried it for skin barrier damage to repair that? Very curious, let's chat in the comments below and let me know if you want me to do another video like this on another CeraVe product or any product which product I should do next. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. My next video will be up in a few days. So until then, I hope you have a great few days.